the call to prayer over Jerusalem. Echoing over what are normally packed streets, now nearly empty. Salamit Wali says he comes to his shop only for a change of scenery, because no one is buying anything, he says. Palestinians telling us they're afraid of Israeli police, essentially living under curfew. <laughs> Young children were the only people we saw out in any noticeable numbers because young men are afraid. We went to talk to them in East Jerusalem. They were terribly afraid to speak on camera. Muhammad told us, God make you happy. A way of saying, I'm sorry I can't speak. If I do, he adds, I'll go to jail. And one of them showed us why they believe this. This is a TikTok video on his phone. It's gone viral among young Palestinian men. He says Israel is planning a new law to revoke citizenship or national ID for anyone who supports terrorism. And it's true, Israeli cabinet officials are proposing such a law. And to these young men, it means they can be arrested for anything. They tell us they'll go to jail if they have a Quran verse on their phone home screen or if they post a picture of a dead Palestinian. We looked up the current Israeli law. It reads in part, anyone who commits an act of identifying with a terror organization, including through publicizing praise, support, or affinity, waving a flag, showing or promoting a symbol, or showing, playing, or promoting a slogan or anthem, the judgment is three years imprisonment. In fact, since the war began, Israel has already arrested many hundreds of young Palestinian men giving the simple explanation that they're, quote, affiliated with Hamas. And the fear is pervasive. One young man named Faisal was afraid of arrest. He told us he was recently released from 18 months in prison after he says he was arrested at a protest near Jerusalem's Al-Aqsa Mosque. One group of young men told us they've been beaten by police along this wall at the bottom of their street. But the men were hospitable to us. Some gave us water and refused to take money, even though they say there is no business no money, no livelihood for them now.